everybody. This is Chris, your dependable host for all things Read. Today, we are going to watch a demonstration of the Bear Hug PE squeeze tool system using the Aerover hydraulic pump. Now, before we do, please note that this tool can also be used with a manual pump. Make sure to follow the specific instructions necessary with manual pump usage. Now, after receiving the Bear Hug base tool and the Aerover hydraulic pump, make sure to check the contents of the box for everything shown here and confirm that the red shipping plug on the pump is removed and replaced with the vent cap before use. Now, prior to using this tool, you'll want to do a few things. First, read and understand the applicable operator's manual. Check the pump's oil level. Bleed the system to remove trapped air. See the base tools operator's manual for full details. Make sure the threads on the bottom saddles are clean and free of debris. Confirm that the latch opens and closes freely. And finally, check the hydraulic lines for any cuts or leaks. Well, I think it's now time for the demonstration. Let's turn this over to Nick, who's already on location with the Bear Hug. Hey, my name is Nicholas Seeds. Today we will be demoing the 8-inch squeeze-off tool. We got a pipe in the ground right here, and we're gonna do a demo. First, we're gonna have to take out the saddle bolts. And then we'll have to connect in the air supply. Now we're going to connect the tool to the air over hydraulic pump. You have to verify that the flow control valve is open all the way, counterclockwise. You want to select release to open the tool. We're gonna use the strap to lift the tool and drop it into the ditch so we can get it on the pipe. Here we open the bar before we let it down. When we were dropping the tool down, we had to swing open the bottom bar. Once it's around the pipe, we swing it back, mount it onto the tool. The spring automatically closes to secure and we drop the pin in. Right now, it's time to consider precautions against static electricity. We're gonna be using Reed's 04621 static grounding device. Today, we're gonna to be squeezing eight inch DR11 pipe, so it's time to set the stops. The stops are color coded, so once you find a designation on one stop, you can match the color on the other. Now it's time to release the strap and uh, back up the mobile equipment. Now that the grounding rod and the stops are set, we need to make sure that the tool is centered on the pipe. Now we have to set the directional control valve to the squeeze mode. Reminder, make sure that the flow control valve is open fully. Now that the tool is centered on the pipe, we can start squeezing. It is important to follow the ASTM specs when it comes to squeeze off. 
the speeds in particular. When you're squeezing, it is recommended that you do two inches per minute and half inch per minute when you're releasing the pipe. Now that we are far enough into the squeeze, we can use the saddle bolts. As we continue to squeeze, the saddle bolts will be continuously threaded in. We are going to continue squeezing the pipe until the, either the stops contact the bottom bar or we reach 10,000 PSI hydraulic pressure. When you reach 10,000 PSI, it is recommended to wait 15 minutes for the pipe to relax. After that time, pump up the system back up to 10,000 PSI for the ultimate squeeze off. The pipe is now shut off. Optionally, you can take you can disconnect the hydraulics to make any repairs that you need to. Now that we are finished with the repair, we are going to release the PE pipe. First, we're going to fully close the full control valve and disengage the four saddle bolts. Now I'm going to set the directional control valve to neutral and then to release. And now I'm going to slowly release the flow control valve so the pipe is released at the half inch per minute recommendation. During release of the PE pipe, it is recommended to release at half inch per minute. It's helpful to do that in half inch increments, wait another minute, and keep on doing that same process. When the tool no longer opens due to pipe pressure, you can fully open the flow control valve. To fully release the tool, pump up the tool until there is enough room around the pipe to remove it. Remove the latch pin and swing the bottom bar open, clear of the pipe. And remove the tool from the ditch. Thank you, Nick. And that concludes the demonstration of the Bear Hug PE squeeze tool system using the AeroVer hydraulic pump. Now make sure to wipe down and clean the tool regularly and store in a dry place with the tool in a closed position after use. For more details, see the operator's manual. Now, uh, I know what you're thinking. How can I get one of these, right? <laughs> well, visit readmfgco.com and get your own Bear Hug PE squeeze tool system today.